The rest of the country celebrates the 150th anniversary of the end of the Civil War. The city of Nina will be commemorating the sacrifices made by its very own soldiers. NBC26's John Mino has the story. Although you probably don't hear much about it in national Civil War history, Wisconsin played a huge role in the Union's victory over the South. And with a new exhibit about to open in Nina, local historians are making sure their city's impressive legacy is honored and preserved. Long gone, but now remembered. Nina's impact and sacrifice during the Civil War. 87 men died from Nina. Jane Lang is on a mission to transform the legendary Octagon House. It was one of only two homes that was here in Nina at the end of the Civil War. Into a museum for those from her hometown who traveled south and fought for the Union. Her displays include the original flag they fought under. It's a, a 35 star flag. The weapons they used and were used against them. The weaponry that was present at the Civil War was far in advance of the medical means to repair the injuries that could be inflicted. To a wildly popular song. The years creep slowly by was so sentimental that it was banned from being played in camps because men were deserting and returning home. Of those who did return, some of the area's most prestigious leaders. C.B. Clark, after he returned home from serving in the war, became one of the four founders of Kimberly and Clark. Jane's hope that visitors leave with a new appreciation for bridging historical. History isn't far off and remote. It's right here in your own community. Mino. NBC 26. The exhibit opens this Sunday at 1 p.m. It will be open every Sunday through June. You can also schedule a private tour.